We're doing this again, the plot of Blaze Blue Part 2. So remember in the beginning when I said that the beginning was the middle? Well, that's because it is. The actual beginning goes back way, 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 way before the beginning of time when someone put a fucking robot in the boundary. Basically, it's like, oh, dimension with infinite power. I guess there needs to be a robot there to, like, be a robot god. That robot is the Amaterasu unit. It has two parts, the Izanagi unit, which creates, and the Izanami unit, which destroys. Yeah, Robot God. Unfortunately, the Amaterasu unit has one weakness, time. It can only create and destroy things right now, which means it's pretty powerless to stop people from coming up with schemes to control it or destroy it or something like that. If it's not aware, people can do what the fuck ever they want to it, provided they can reach the boundary, which is difficult. So it creates two smaller units to help protect itself from time. The first is Tsukuyomi. Tsukuyomi is an absolute shield. It can basically say no to anything. It is a big protective bubble that just prevents stuff. That was the Amaterasu unit's ultimate defense. Now let's talk about its ultimate attack, the Susanoo unit. The Susanoo unit was given the power to look through time, travel through time, and cut out pieces of the timeline that were threats to Amaterasu. And the goal was simple, send Susanoo through time, cutting out anything that could possibly be a threat to Amaterasu. And if Susanoo's changes to the timeline created some unforeseen side effect, block it with Tsukuyomi. That way, the Amaterasu unit can be basically robot god forever. There's only one problem. These units were all supposed to be completely inert, just machines for Amaterasu to use. But it turns out that when you travel through infinite timelines, murdering infinite people for a god that doesn't care about you, you get some mental trauma. And that trauma started creating a personality within the Susanoo unit. And that personality was Yuki Terumi. One day Yuki was like, this is bullshit, I shouldn't have to do this anymore. And Amaterasu was like, ah uh, no, that's what I designed you for, you can't go against your design. And Yuki was like, the body can't go against its design. The Susanoo unit can't go against its design. But I could do whatever the fuck I want, peace! And so he rips his soul and mind out of his own body. The Susanoo unit is now basically a lifeless corpse of an armor, basically floating through the boundary. And Yuki Terumi is now a spirit that can go on to possess whoever he wants. So Yuki points humanity toward the boundary and goes, Hey guys, there is a super powerful suit of armor there. And it'll let you be Robot God. And knowing that humans were closing in, Amaterasu flipped the switch and ran the Oh Shit program. And created the Black Beast. Sort of. Also, Terumi told Jin to cut off Ragna's arm. He's kind of a dick like that.